Uh, I just heard from Stacy. She was going to be with us today, but she had something come up and she can't make it. She said she was really sorry. So, the thing is, I wanted to talk about another really cool creature today. But I don't know as much about animals. I feel kind of... alone. So, I decided to search for some cool things to share about one of the coolest animals I could think of. Dragons! Here are some things I know about dragons without even having to search for it. One, dragons breathe fire so they can make toast really, really fast. Two, dragons fly, which is great because they're way too big to fit on planes. Three, dragons seem scary, but they can actually be really nice. Like big puppies. Four, I think I hear somewhere that they don't like hot sauce on their tacos. Anyway, let me see. Wait, what? what's this? Dragons aren't real? That deserves another Cali triple what take! What? 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 Is that true? Oh, wait, I'm all by myself. Anyone? I just feel alone. Have you ever felt alone, friends? Let's check out our Bible story for today. Today's story comes from the book of Daniel, chapter 3. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar decided to make a really big statue made of gold. He then made a rule that whenever they heard the music, everyone in the kingdom would have to bow down before the statue. If they didn't, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were three of Daniel's friends who were also chosen to work for the king in the palace. They loved God and did not want to worship anyone except for God. So when the music played, everyone bowed down to the statue, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Could you imagine everyone bowing except for them? The king was furious. That means really angry and he had thrown them into a fiery furnace. He made sure it was extra, extra, extra hot before doing so. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego must have felt all alone when they stood tall while everyone else bowed. But they were thrown into a furnace. They were not alone. Everyone was shocked because it looked as though there was a fourth person that was with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire. But that's not all. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were walking around in the fire and they were totally fine. They weren't hurt at all. In fact, when the king called them and told them to come out of the fire, they did. And they didn't even smell like smoke. The king was amazed and immediately ordered everyone to bow down and worship the real God. The God who saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the flames. It would have been easy for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to feel like God wasn't with them when they didn't bow and when they were thrown into the fire. But they knew all along that I am not alone. God is with me. Wasn't that Bible story awesome? It's one of my favorites ever. And speaking of favorites ever, guess who's back? Hey, Callie. Hey, everybody. Sorry I wasn't here earlier. It's okay. I'm just so glad you're here now. I felt so alone. I know. Sometimes we can feel alone. I bet Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego felt alone when they stepped into the fire. But look what happened. They weren't alone. God was with them the whole time. And God is with us too, always. So what cool creature have you guys been talking about today? Well, never mind. I wanted to talk about dragons, but then I found out they aren't real, so. <sighs> Wait, Callie, I know one dragon that is real. This is called a bearded dragon. They are really cool creatures. Whoa! Cool! Look at the bearded dragon go! It's like it's got a little bearded dragon buggy.
feel afraid, what should I do? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego Pray to God, do not let go Daniel in the lion's den They trusted God, so I will then Hear me Afraid and life is a zoo No matter what anyone else says I will follow all God's ways Even when I make mistakes God gives me a brand new day Today. Remember, friends, I'm not alone. God is with me. See you next time. Bye! Hey, Journey Kids, it's me, your favorite random voice over these doodle videos. Last week, we talked about the story of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and how they only ate vegetables for a very long time. This week, we're continuing on in the book of Daniel, so let's hop right in. King Nebuchadnezzar made a giant statue that everyone had to bow down to whenever they heard a bunch of music or they'd get thrown into a fiery furnace. But some people told the king that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not following this law. So he spoke to them, and they told him that they wouldn't worship anything other than the one true God. So as the law said, they were thrown into a fiery furnace, heated seven times hotter than usual. Oh no, my ice cream melted. Oh dude, I feel so bad for you. Nah, it's okay, it was just grape nut. Oh yeah, that flavor is disgusting. So anyway, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew today's big idea. I am not alone. God is with me. Say that with me, Journey Kids. I am not alone. God is with me. And then one of the greatest miracles in the Old Testament happened. First, King Nebuchadnezzar said to his servant, didn't I send three men into that fire? He wasn't just seeing things, though. Through all of the fire, all of the flames, he could make out four distinct figures. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and an angel from the Lord. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. And when he saw that there was not a scratch on their bodies, he said, Praise be to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and rescued his servants. They trusted in him and defied the king's command and were willing to give up their lives rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. Thanks for joining me on this episode of JKTV. See you next week, Journey Kids! Guys, it's me, Daniel. I thought we were going to Babylonian Scoops to get some grape nut ice cream. What? You were thrown into a fiery furnace without me? Gotcha. Hey, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Can you believe it? I'm here! I'm here at the zoo! Man, oh man, I couldn't be more happy. Guess what? I was walking out of the bathroom earlier, and BOOM! A peacock just walks right in front of me! Ha <laughs> ha! Then guess what? I got to pet a koala bear. 
It was just sitting on the back of some park bench. It did turn out that it wasn't koala bear at all. It was just me patting an old man's head, which I apologize like a thousand times. But still, what an adventure! Anywho, I'm here at the bear exhibit. That's right, I've been learning about all the types of bears. Grizzly bears, polar bears, black bears, panda bears, gummy bears. Bears to me are just so fascinating. I mean, did you know that bears are better swimmers than you and me? I know, crazy, right? They could swim up to 30 miles without stopping. Next time instead of going on a cruise, I'm just gonna rent a bear. Do you know that bears can see color? Most mammals can. Oh, and here's another fact. Apparently bears like to live alone. Well, that, that's not a fun fact. That's not a fun fact at all. In fact, that's a, that's an unfun fact. It's a sad fact. <laughs> Whoa, 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 what's wrong? Why are you crying? Okay, can you tell me one more time without crying so much? Okay, I'll try, even though it's pretty much impossible. Okay, I'm here at the bear exhibit in the zoo, right? Okay, mm-hmm. Well, they're pretty cool, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm having a good old time, and then I, I read the bears that they... <sighs> what? They like to live alone. <laughs> they don't deserve that. Okay, so why is that making you upset? Why do you think? Sorry, it's just so sad. Because they're just so cool and beautiful and well, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm me. And what if I just end up living alone one day? It's just so upsetting. <laughs> Carl, that's never going to happen. How do you know? Because we're never alone. Even if we don't have another human being around us, we're still not alone. How does that even make sense? Well, do you remember the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? I mean, I heard their names last week, but besides that, I have no idea. Well, the three men were in Babylon, and King Nebuchadnezzar had this giant statue built. Hold up. Why would he do that? He built it so people could bow down and worship it. Well, didn't King Nebuchadnezzar know that uh, the God, our God is the only God that you can worship? Apparently not, because one day they told all the people that when the music starts, everyone was to bow down and worship the statue. Well, did they? They did. Everyone in the kingdom did what they were told to do, except for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hey, I knew I liked those guys. But when certain officials saw this, they got angry. They ran to the king and told the king that they refused to bow. And that made Nebuchadnezzar furious. He threatened the three men and he said this, if you are ready to fall down and worship the image I made, very good. But if you do not worship it, you will be thrown immediately into a blazing furnace. Psh, that's nothing. Excuse me? A fur nest? Why would they be afraid to be thrown in a fur nest? Just a nest made out of fur? That sounds delightful. No, a furnace. It's a place where they would keep fire to burn things. Oh no. What'd they do? They refused to listen to the king and they said this. King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown out into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it and he will deliver us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. <laughs> wow, I'm not sure how I feel about this. On one hand, I love their faith. On the other, I don't wanna see these guys getting burned alive. I know, but the king showed no mercy. He told them to make the furnace seven times hotter than usual. And when the guards took the men and opened the door to put them in the furnace, it was so hot that they burnt up. The guards burn up? They sure did. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fire. Oh no. Well, just wait, Carl. The officials peeked into the furnace and they saw something strange. My cousin Stump was there? No, the king and the officials saw that the three men were not being burnt up. <gasps> In fact, they were walking around in the furnace, just walking around like nothing's happening. But then the king saw something even more shocking. More shocking than three men walking around in a fire? Yeah, they saw a fourth person in the fire. Well, there's only three thrown in the fire. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's it. Exactly, that's why it's so shocking. And the thing is, this wasn't just any person. They said it looked like the son of God. Hold up, the son of God? You mean to tell me that these people saw Jesus? It could have been, or an angel. All we know for sure is that it was definitely somebody sent by God. Anyway, the fourth person showing up like that probably helped Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego know that they weren't alone. God was with them. So the four of them hung out in a furnace without getting burnt? The end? 
<laughs> of course not. So when the king and the official saw inside the furnace, they couldn't believe it. They opened up the furnace and they let the three men out and not one hair on their heads were burnt. They were completely fine. And then King Nebuchadnezzar did a complete 180. Like a flip? Uh, no, he, he changed his mind. He made it a rule in his kingdom that everyone would have to worship the one and only true God. He knew that only God could save people like that. And that same God is with all of us too. And that's why I want to encourage you to not be sad about the possibility of living alone. Because one, it'll never happen. Because no matter how alone we feel, we can always trust that God is with us. Always? Really? That seems, mm, I don't know, impossible. It is impossible for everyone but God. God promises to never leave us, and God will be with us even in the toughest and scariest times. I mean, if God was with these guys in a fiery furnace, God can be with us anywhere. Wow, I guess you're right. I don't even know why I doubted that. I mean, even Jesus tells us that he's going to be with us to the very end of the age. Exactly. Now, Carl, go and have some fun at the zoo. You got it. I'm going to go uh, make silly faces at the monkey now, so <laughs> see ya! Hey everybody, it's awesome seeing y'all. Now wasn't that story the coolest thing ever? I mean, how great is it that God protected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Incredible! Anywho, that brings us to our big idea today, which is, I'm not alone, God is with me. So let's roar it out like a lion on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. I'm not alone. God is with me. Great job, kids. I really think. Oh, wow. D did you hear that? I think that was an elephant. Well, I think you guys are going to have to come back next week and see what Carl's up to. All right. I'll see you kids next time on Grow TV. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust in him.